Hi, friends. Where is your food? Why mom? is my family vacuuming right now? <laughs> why is he? Why are they doing a, your brother? Oh my god. <laughs> My brother used to vacuum at like the awkwardest Ugh, time. Oh We're watching Buying Beverly Hills on Netflix. Sorry. Are you comfortable? Yes, I'm comfortable. Okay, so this is Vox. I'm gonna have some of the, I don't know how the Vox Kitchen does their rice friends, but it's <laughs> so good. I tell Michelle all the time. Oh my God, Michelle's so happy right now. That is so good. Mmm. It's good. Mmm. <laughs> How do they do their rice at the box kitchen? Damn, mom, you got a sexy voice. You like? <laughs> I lost my boss. <laughs> Imagine they didn't have sweet shrimp, but her, I'd be so sad. We're going to get sushi today, friends. How are you guys? I'm at Michelle's house. No makeup today, friends. We're doing a little hydration, though. I want to go to that dessert place next door. Where? Next oh, to Kurara, there's that Vietnamese, Vietnamese dessert place. We are heading to get sushi. I'm so excited. We're going to, they have two locations. I think one in Garden Grove and one in Irvine. It's called Kura Revolving Sushi. Basically, there's sushi revolving all around you and you can pick and choose what you want and it's so fun. They have my favorite, which is the sweet shrimp. I love it so much. We haven't been here in a few months. I'm also trying to eat a granola bar because I'm so hungry and drink some water. That's what we're doing today. And then I think I might go get some dessert next door to bring home. And then I am heading back to my house today. Hi friends we are at Kura Revolving Sushi it's our favorite well one of our favorite places there's two locations one in Garden Grove and one in Irvine we're at the one in Garden Grove today I love the Irvine one a little bit more but it's a little further and super busy today so if you guys have never been here I'll link everything in the description if you're ever in town and want to swing by and get some sushi but basically it is revolving oh mom will mm -hmm. you grab me the sweet shrimp both <laughs> thank or you. oh thank you so much yes both both thank you i'm here for the sweet shrimp it is my all-time favorite it is so good but yeah basically you sit here in these really comfortable little seating areas and there is sushi revolving around you and you can just pick and choose what you want and take it off or you can also do custom orders up there and then the food will come out at the top mom is that yours? What? Oh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hi there. I so when you know. <laughs> when you order up there, the food will come out here. All the sushi chefs are in the back there making your sushi. Oh, they changed the plate. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Jalapeno on top. I think that's fresh wasabi too. Is it? Mm -hmm. It's really good. Mm. Fun. Wow. Oh, maybe it is jalapeno it's too. It's jalapeno or something. It's There's so, a seed. Yeah. Yeah, I think you're right. It's delicious. Mmm. Mmm. The jalapeno on top makes it good. Mm. I don't know. Don't explain it. Wow. Ooh, that second one looks bad. Oh, have just... you had? No, I haven't. I had it earlier. It's really good. Mm. The salmon is really good here. Oh no, I lost my rice. Oh no. Uh forfeit. Yeah, I don't know about these tables, man. Forfeit. Oh my god. Hmm. This shit in York. Oh my gosh. They they eat it up. Would they? I think so, because it's so like different. Oh. Ah. Oh my goodness. Real crab meat? Is that new? Mm-mm. I not hide it. Do I like it? I don't know. I'll do this one. I don't remember. I don't remember either. Is it really real? It does look real. They really like their hand rolls. Oh, whoever's ordering it? Yeah. Mm. Mm. 
we're walking over to Skylark. Is that what it's called, Mom? Uh-huh. Skylark to get some, well, see if they have some nail polishes. We just left sushi. It's like right next door. There's also like a Vietnamese dessert place here, but I'm kind of full, so I don't think I want anything. Why if you guys have you never been to Skylark, it's basically a nail like wholesale place, but you can buy them individually. So like all the gel polishes you see at the nail salons, most likely the salon owner has come here to get the polishes. If your salon carries D&D, &D, like D&D &D here is $5 for this whole pack. It's way cheaper to buy it here than go buy online. OPI is $13 here for gel, I think, and it's like $20 online. We are finally home. There was no traffic driving home. Made me so happy, you guys. I literally flew home. No one was on the road. I am heading to the 99 cent store. If you guys hung out with me in the last vlog, then you know that I am very, very sad about the 99 cent store closing all of their stores. Yes, it's a very, very sad time. It's just crazy because I come to realize that our future kids and grandkids will not know what the 99 cent store is. And it was a very special place for me. I grew up going to the 99 cent store with my mom to buy knickknacks for around the house. The 99 cent store got me through college because I would go there for school supplies and I would go there for food because they also had really good produce and food in the freezer. They had great seasonings. They had ramen. They had great condiments. Everything was obviously very affordable. And as I grew up being a house owner, even until now, I go to the 99 cent store. You guys know this. If you watch my vlogs, you know I go there for like aluminum foil and Ziploc bags and trash bags and chips and drinks. And sometimes they also have really good like toys and stuff that are affordable for Christmas and holidays and birthdays. And they have cleaning supplies that are also affordable. I'm a little bit sad, actually a lot sad feeling a lot of, I don't know, it just sucks. I'm also thinking about, you know, the families that do go to the 99 cent store for absolutely everything. And so now it's just like, I don't know, everything in life is just getting so expensive. And I think as I become more of an adult, I'm sure a lot of you guys agree, as we all become more adult, more of like an adult, like we're getting older in life, we all realize that money doesn't buy happiness, but when you don't have money, it's stressful. Or, you know, when you have a certain amount in your bank account, but then it just like flies out the door because being an adult is very expensive you know the car needs checked the car breaks down insurance is expensive you got to put food on the table we're just at an age where like I'm sure we're all thinking about our parents and a lot of our parents don't work anymore or they can't find work or they're just getting older you start worrying and it, it is definitely a lot on the table so I think as I'm becoming older I realize that yes money doesn't buy happiness but if I'm gonna be honest with you money does get rid of a lot of problems and you know I think as we all get older we all realize why our parents were always stressed out about money and they were always worried and why we couldn't get certain things that we wanted growing up. I'm just grateful to have a roof over our heads and dinner on the table and good health and even little things that are small to other people are a very big deal to me you know like health care. I'm grateful to have health care. I'm grateful to be able to put gas into my car whenever I need gas. I'm, I'm grateful that I'm even able to go get coffee bean right now if I wanted like a coffee bean drink. It's just like little things like that. But it just had me thinking because like the 99 cent store really played a big deal in my life and so I'm just really sad. But because of that, I'm heading to the 99 cent store right now because I think since they're closing all their stores, they're gonna have like a big discount and I'm hoping to stock up on a few things around the house. And I think a lot of other people are going to. I think they're having like 20% off. Some stores I saw are having like 50% off. Also, I don't know what's going on with me. My voice is really funky. I feel fine. I'm not sick. I think I just kind of lost my voice for some reason. I don't know if Michelle and I were like laughing too hard. I'm starting to lo lose my voice a little bit or it's like changing. It's kind of weird. Yeah, let's see what they have there, you guys. And if you have a 99 cent store near you, definitely go there before they close. I think they said that all stores are going to be closed by the end of June. 
but I'm not too sure how accurate that is. Look how beautiful the sky is today, friends. Oh my gosh, okay. So I think everyone has the same mindset as me because I just saw a bunch of people leaving the 99 cent store. Oh my God, I'm so sad. Okay, let's go inside. Yeah, everyone had the same mindset because there's literally not a lot of things on the shelves and there's no more carts. So I'm trying to figure out how to put stuff in. Okay, let's go the aisle that we actually need stuff. Last time I was here, I bought this bowl here for salsa and I got a big one and now I want the little ones and they have them. So I'm gonna buy these. I wanted these last time, but I didn't get them. So I think I'm gonna get another big one and then we'll do these little ones for salsa. They're these little salsa bowls and they're so cute. So far, I'm stocking up on these zipper seal sandwich bags because we always use these. And then I got a hole puncher for 99 cents. The soap aisle is a little bit dead. There's not a lot in the cleaning product aisle. So, oh, it's happening, friends, it's happening. Okay. You're back. So I asked her when they're closing the 99 cent store and she said every store is gonna be a little bit different but for the most part, they're closing all the stores sometime in June. But right now they're starting the sale so if everything sells out in this store specifically or like yours, they will close it early. If you guys wanna go to the 99 cent store, I recommend going right now because people are already going and cleaning off the shelves. I didn't get too many things because I was late on the bandwagon. I did get everything that I showed you so I got a bunch of the sandwich zipper bags which now I'm so sad about because they're so affordable at the 99 cent store I rarely ever buy it at like Walmart or Amazon or Target I'm sad now I don't have a place but I stocked up on these I got like eight of them and then got the hole puncher for 99 cents and then I also got these mini little salsa bowls I got a pack of three they're so cute and then I got like that big one so we got little packs and then I also got like the big one here that's all I got. We are now going to head home. I miss my boys. I miss my husband. I've been away for the last two or three days. I'm gonna go home and we're gonna go on our little afternoon walk, which I'm excited about because the weather is perfect. It's like true spring right now. And so we're trying to get these walks in before, before it hits summer and it's like 110 degrees outside. We're back. Carlos is in the kitchen tonight. Are you doing a salad, Bubba? Are you doing rice? Oh, you're doing a chicken sandwich? Yeah. My bad. I had a salad yesterday and... I can't wait for I the kitchen to be clean tomorrow because Mario will be done. Oh, he's coming tomorrow? Yeah, he's coming tomorrow to finish the pantry and then he's done. Oh, okay. And tomorrow's Riley's cleaning too. I'm eating this kimchi today. Janika and Brittany bought it, but they didn't like it. So they were like, do you want it? And I said, yes. It's actually kind of good. I had a little piece five seconds ago. I'm hoping that they call me this week. I'm hoping you get a surgery date tomorrow. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna try the chicken. Mmm. Uh, Wait, is it good? Yeah! I like it! Nah, you're lying. Is it really good? No, look! No way. It's so good, Baba. Spicy. That's good. A little salt? I need a little salt. A little salt, but it's spicy, I like that. I found this last week at Costco and I wanted to try it with you guys. I saw a few people on TikTok, they say they buy this and there's like a lot of slices of meat in here and you can eat it with like rice or if you make salads or if you're really not that hungry but you want steak. It's fully cooked and you're supposed to keep it refrigerated and then just warm it up, probably like on a pan or air fryer. But I'm trying it for the first time today so I'll let you guys know how it tastes. Oh, why did my lighting change? It looks really good. This is what it looks like. Looks good. It was a little rare, so I'm going to warm it up, cook it for a little bit. But that was so convenient. Hopefully it tastes good, but if not, we can season it together. All right, let's try this and then call it a night. I'm just literally eating steak and lettuce. Nothing fancy. Actually, steak is pretty fancy. It was a good deal at Costco. Let's see. Let's see, friends. Is it good? Can I try? Yep. Oh my god! Wait, babe. That took like two minutes to warm up and it's perfect. Thank you. Oh! Damn, that's really good. That's really good, you guys. Mmm. Oh, you should totally buy that at Costco. I think it's such a good deal. I think that thing is gonna last us like an entire week and a half, depending on how much, actually longer, depending on how much you guys eat steak for protein. Yeah, that's really good. Especially if you don't have, like, if you just want something quick, mm -hmm. just warm it up real quick, make some rice. Yes. Or like if you have pasta or something. Mm -hmm. It's really good. It's seasoned so well. I was gonna say, it's not bland. I don't even need to season this. It's seasoned so well. That is amazing. 10 out of 10, highly recommend. Very good. Hello, hello. <laughs> 
can't see. Carlos took Riley this morning to the vet because today was Riley's teeth cleaning day and he took my car and now I have to put it back to the way it was. And I also want this thing open too. I'm heading to Lowe's. Okay, so here's the thing. Today, Mario is also coming over. He is finally finishing up the pantry. We haven't had a pantry in two weeks. The house has been a mess. I don't know if you guys have noticed in my kitchen. Bottles are everywhere. Seasonings are everywhere. We have like cereal boxes piled up. But the pantry will be done today. So I will show you guys a little bit of the pantry. But I think we're going to organize the pantry the next time we hang out, which is pretty much tomorrow but i think you'll see that in the next vlog so if you guys are into pantry organizations come back and hang out with me aside from mario coming today i'm hoping that the vet will call me soon so i can go pick up riley because i'm already out and about and i'm right next door to the vet hopefully they call me to pick up rye i'm going to lowe's as you guys know i have these frames in my office so what had happened was when i first moved in my office was white and then i had white frames they were great but then i needed i wanted more like warmth and i wanted more color so then i went with these brown frames they are absolutely beautiful i love the shade i actually got these frames from target and i love them so much now that i've changed my office and refreshed it to a more light airy vibe i want to change these frames to like an, a light oak color but i don't want to use money so as in like i don't want to waste money buying 10 more frames in an oak and i just feel like that is just stupid so i am putting that as my last resort so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take these frames to lowe's and i'm gonna ask the very nice lowe's team if they can help me figure out how to do this what i'm thinking is that maybe we can sand this down to a light oak color i don't really necessarily need it to be white oak or like an orange oak i just need it to be lighter so it ties in with the office better so instead of spending more money on new frames and just over consuming i am hoping that there is a sand paper or anything even like paint I don't even know what it is so I can paint these frames to match the office better because I really want the office now with like the pendant and everything and the new chairs to be like light and airy so that is my goal today I'm hoping to do all of that before Mario comes in the next two hours so just you know let's just pray that it happens I'm also dealing with allergies do you guys hear that oh I'm gonna eat my granola, drink my water, and head out. We've made it to Lowe's. I also kind of want to go into the garden center and look at their pots. I don't know if you guys know this, but if you're looking for really good pots and planters to put like your fake olive trees in or for around the house, Lowe's and Home Depot, their garden section, they have the best pots and planters and they run for like maybe 35 to 50 bucks depending on how big or how small you want it. However, I haven't been in there in maybe maybe a year because the last time I was there I saw the biggest rat ever yeah so I don't know if you guys know that rats and mice definitely live at Lowe's and Home Depot they like also live under the pallets and stuff inside the store because last Christmas I was looking at Christmas stuff and a mouse ran across me and I don't know if you guys know but I have the biggest fear I will start like hyperventilating and crying I cannot cannot do rats or mice I'm a little bit nervous about going in there but but I really do want to check out their planters and stuff. I'll let you guys know if I have the balls. Michelle's coming over next weekend, so maybe I'll go with her. I don't know if I have the balls to go alone today. I think we find a solution, friends, because I really don't want to spend money on new frames. I could just paint them, but I really want that like light wood color. Let's see. I would probably go for the assorted which would be this one. Okay. It's the same price as the individual ones. You just get all the grits. So you would start with the 80. Okay. And then work your way up smoother and smoother because that's going to give you a nice prep surface for if it does go through right, you can okay. stand it real easy because that surface is going to be nice and level. Okay, so this is 80 and then I would come back and buy these? No, no. This is oh. 80, 120, 220, Oh, everything is in the yeah. pack. Yeah, so you start uh, with I the see. 80, do a couple passes of that once okay. it's roughed up. Then you would go up to the 120 once it's medium. You go up to the 220 when it's fine. You go to the 320. He was so nice and he said to buy this. So in here, there's like an 80, 120, 220, and 320. So I'm going to start with the 80 and then we'll go from there. 
Okay, let's do this today. I'm just gonna buy it, hopefully it works. I don't know if I got a chance to show you guys the pantry and what we're doing with it. So here we are. We've been working on this pantry makeover. It's not that huge of a makeover. I just reached a point where Carlos and I both realized that we are just needing or desiring more room in the pantry. So we went through a few options. As you guys know, this is what our pantry looks like. We went through a few options. We were going to get rid of the shelves up there and do some cabinets, but then Carlos and I realized what's the point? I can't even reach them. It would be very difficult to reach stuff up there. I wanted it to be very accessible and convenient for the both of us. We also looked at our budget. A lot of things were out of our budget and I really did not want to spend that much because I just wanted to add a little bit of storage. So as you guys know, I added the Ikea pack system in my studio and I ended up loving it so much. I'm adding it on the sides of the pantry. This is what it looks like. If you guys don't know about the Ikea pack system, you can go on Ikea.com and design it to your liking. They have multiple sizes. They'll ship it to your house and you just got to build them. So Mario actually built these for us in like two minutes. He's amazing. He took out the baseboards down there because we want it to be flush to the wall so it looks like it was like it came with the house. Today he's coming. He ate breakfast this morning, but he's cleaning the bowls. Cooper, baby, there's no more food in there, baby. Okay, just if it makes you happy, just do it, baby. I designed this one on the Ikea website and this is what it looks like and my favorite part is that excuse me old man you literally can design it however you want like for example we keep the boys kibble in this closed off container it keeps it fresh and you know good for them and I designed it where I can fit this kibble container in here and you can literally roll it in and out which I love and it just fits perfectly in our space also I decided to put some drawers in here these are soft closed drawers which I love it's just like a little you know luxurious vibe so I did three drawers you don't have to go with these I believe these are called the shaker drawers you don't have to go with these I personally love this design as you guys can tell I just like the little border it gives it like a very classy look they have like different colors they have different designs you can do it in black oak or white and then up here I also did another sliding drawer and this is where we're gonna put like our juice and our blender and it just it's tucked away and it's so cool and then for up there I did two shelves so Mario's coming today to put the baseboard back basically seal off any opening so it looks like it came with the house and then on this side we had to get this outlet change because there was a switch right here as you guys can see I called out our electrician Josh from HB electric I'll link them down below they're so amazing if you guys live in the area and you're looking for for an electrical team. They have done so much work in our house and they are just so professional and everything is just neat and I, I love them so much. He got rid of the switch. We ended up moving the switch out here. So now we can turn our lights on and off out here. And I did not know this existed, but if you don't wanna do hardwire switches in your house, you can do ones with sensors. So he put a sensor up in our attic and this is actually not hardwired. It just flips on and off. Isn't that so cool? It's completely battery operated and I love it so much. We had to move the switch because this cabinet is gonna go flush against the wall. So that's what Mario's doing today as well. This one I designed a little bit differently. I ended up doing six drawers for this and these are so nice and deep, you guys. You can put so many things in here. And then I also did a pull out drawer up here. I'm thinking it could hold like my sauces and stuff when I'm cooking. I'm obsessed with this and it was so much fun to like design. So as you guys see, you can just make it to your liking. I absolutely love it. I highly recommend. If you are like willing to gut out your entire pantry for a makeover, this is the way to go. I feel like you could do a lot of things with this. But because I've been, you know, waiting for this pantry to be done, this is what our counters have been looking like and oh, it's driving me insane. Also, if you guys watched the last vlog, then you know that we also got Josh from HB Electric to come out and put outlets in our pantry. So now, all of our what is what are these called oh my god he's here Oh, Mario's here. What I was saying earlier was appliances. That's the word that I was looking for friends. Oh my gosh It's like the best thing that's ever happened to me. Rocky come here. Rocky. Hi, <laughs> come here baby, don't run away. But yeah, we put outlets in, their, in the pantry so we moved all of our appliances in here and our counters are gonna be so clear and I'm really excited about it. I've been so obsessed with Tiffy's noodles. 
Did you see she sent us another package? Yeah. Well, you didn't really get to eat them yet. Ah, uh, I know. Wait till you're better and then I'll make you with steak and pork belly. They're so good. No, I know. I did like them. I just... Her I chili oil is good too. <laughs> Bless you. I didn't want to risk... Uh, I know. ...getting flour. But they were good. Boyo water. Boyo. Tiffy says six minutes, so I gotta wait till like the water boils and I can put it in for six minutes for al dente noodles. Why is he crying? Because he's hungry, but he always cries. Papa, this is usually when you eat. No, it doesn't matter when I feed him, he's always gonna cry. Riley, you okay? Riley's so out of it, friends, because he had his teeth cleaning today. Riley, George, come say hi to everyone. Say, I'm better, tias and tios. I am okay. I am okay. Riley George, Riley George. I love you so much, Riley George. Can we just admire this piece of steak? I got three pieces at Costco for $45 and they're all huge, you guys. Highly recommend getting your steaks at Costco. I'm gonna cut into the room. The noodles are ready, they're on the side. Ooh. They're not ready. They're not ready. They're too rare in the middle for me. I'm gonna have to pop them back in. Oh, I didn't realize how thick these are. Okay, we gotta pop them back in. I didn't realize how thick they were. Oh my goodness. I knew they were thick, but I didn't know they were this thick. Okay, back in. Yeah, that's way too rare in the middle for my liking. Oh my goodness. Mm. Actually, never mind. No, I'm kidding. No, no, it's not even that. I just don't. Baby, I was going to give you like the smallest piece. I know you don't want a lot. Actually, I don't know. It depends if it's good. I'm just kidding. My steak <laughs> is always good, bro. <laughs> Bruh. Bruh. What if it's not? Baby, my steak is always good. Don't even. Check me a piece. I'm going to give you this one. Oh, do, do it like they do in those, um, in the, um, when you go and eat hibachi, they like put it on the, they put it on the blade and then they like toss it to you. Carlos, stop. <laughs> You're being extra. Let me try it first. Oh, I thought you said this. Mmm. Yeah, but you're not going to say your food is bad. I would tell you if my food tasted like oh. Tiffy, if you're watching this, I am obsessed with your noodles. Right, babe? Tell Tiffy. Yeah. She eats it at least like twice a week. Yeah. Oh, yeah, with that steak, it's going to be really good. I know. Ooh. I love her chili sauce too. Is it spicy? Her mama chili oil? Yeah. It's got a kick, but it's bearable. Well, what's bearable though? Because your bearable is different to mine. I think you could do it. I think I let them sit too long. Crap. Wanna try some water? Uh, no, I'll add oil, baby. Oil? Yeah. Not water, silly. Water with chili oil? E. I love this oil, by the way. Yeah, I used it for my chicken salad and my chicken sandwich the other day. Or the chicken I made you. Do you want a uh, chicken sandwich tomorrow? No, baby. I have this tomorrow. I usually make enough for two days. No, because we had chicken. Chicken sandwich. Oh. <laughs> the one that I made. Yeah. Mmm. I got food for tomorrow. Go lay on your bed, Baba. And we are done. Let's take the first bite together. I have made enough for lunch tomorrow, which I'm really excited about, friends. Mmm, so good. Yeah. I'll link it down below. I told you guys I'm obsessed with these apples from Costco. They're so good. I still have the bag. If you see these at Costco, buy them. I think they're called Envy. Oh my God, they're so crispy and so juicy and so good. You're not supposed to bite into apples. I'm too lazy to cut them. They're so sweet. I cannot wait to wake up tomorrow and organize the pantry. I want to show you guys. Mario left earlier. He finished the... 
baseboard and he did some caulking and made it look brand new basically. I still have to come in and like vacuum and clean the area but now it looks like it's like completely seamless to the wall which makes me really happy. I wish that I didn't have that open area up there so I have some like extra white boxes we can use as like filler and then this is what this side looks like. We'll probably have to paint this a little bit. This is from our shelving but yeah Mario did all the baseboards. If you're looking for a licensed contractor or just a handyman to do little things around the house or really big projects he can do pretty much everything. He did our flooring, our pantry, our laundry room. What else? He did the arches in our home. He did my studio. He literally can do anything. Oh he did our plumbing for our water filter. What else did he do? He pretty much can do anything. He's amazing. I am going to organize this tomorrow because it is about time, you guys. Look how crazy our kitchen has been. Crazy. Absolutely crazy. Absolutely chaotic because I haven't had a pantry in the last two weeks. The only reason that this took that long, Mario actually was going to get it done in a day, but I ran into an issue because I had a switch here, and so I couldn't push this completely against the wall. And so I had to hire Josh, my my electrician who's also amazing to come out and get rid of this switch and do something else for me to turn on the lights but we're gonna organize this tomorrow thank you so much for hanging out with me i'm going to eat my apple and upload my video tomorrow we are gonna organize the pantry i think that's like my main focus i don't want to put too many things in my head and then not accomplish anything and feel like a complete failure but yeah get some rest because we are going to be organizing the pantry together so if you're into organization it's gonna be a good time i want this kitchen squeaky clean tomorrow which we will do together in the next vlog which will happen very very soon i love you guys thank you so much for hanging out with me as always you guys mean the world to me don't forget to leave a comment down below subscribe all of that good stuff i'll see you then bye